Hi you guys, today I'm going to show you how to make these incredible gluten-free soft flour tortillas. Look how flexible these are. They're pliable, they're, they're flexible. You can make a number of different things with them, including burritos. You can make burrito size. They roll up, they won't tear. They are just incredible. And I'm going to show you how easy they are to make. So let's get started. In a large bowl, I'm using my stand mixer. You don't have to, you can do this all by hand if you want. Add my bread flour blend along with some salt and some fat of choice. I'm using butter. You can also use lard, which I believe is the traditional Mexican way, um, coconut oil even, or shortening. So we're gonna pulse this on low until we get what's like a wet sand texture. Take a couple of minutes. And then we'll slowly add in some warm water, about 90 degrees, but don't add all the water at once because depending on your climate, you may or may not need all of that water. And by the way, as always, the recipe is linked in the description box below. So when it's done, it looks almost like buttercream. It's slightly tacky, it's not sticky though, it won't stick to your fingers. We're gonna put this on plastic, wrap it in plastic, and get it in the fridge for about an hour just to make it easier to roll out. Um, I made a double batch, so this is a huge amount here. And then we can start pulling off pieces, rolling them into balls, and I'll show you, you can roll it right on the countertop with some extra flour, and just keep moving it around, moving it and rolling, moving and rolling. Or you can use my favorite method, which is using a parchment circle. And what that does is it just allows me to move just the parchment and not the tortilla, making it much easier to get the desired thickness I want, which is pretty thin. So we'll get this in a skillet over medium high heat let it cook for about 20 to 30 seconds on each side. You can flip tortillas more than once. There's no rule that says you can't. And if you see any air bubbles, pop them with your spatula. And now to make a burrito size, I'm rolling out my dough and then I'm gonna use my biggest skillet to just cut it out, almost like a large cookie cutter and I'm rolling it up on my rolling pin, just like I would a pie crust. Then we just unroll it into the skillet and cook it the same way. Now I'm gonna make a burrito, but I'm here to tell you I am not the world's best burrito maker. This is not a burrito making video. <laughs> it is a gluten-free tortilla video. So I know I've done this wrong. Go easy on me. I'm just showing you how pliable these are to make, but I've already done it wrong right here. I should have rolled it over first before folding in the sides, but you get the gist anyway. It's really easy to do without tearing, and then we just, I just roll it up in some foil kind of like um, Chipotle <laughs> wood. And I probably understuffed my, my burrito this time. Usually I overstuff. And look at these. They're so pliable, they're so soft. Make anything you want with them. And you can also just make one at a time if you want and leave the dough in the fridge for the next day. Enjoy.